I do want to go back to the abortion rights argument uh, that, of course, is very heated argument going on right now because we kind of heard a little bit more from politicians um, at the federal level. We heard from Ron Johnson, who doesn't believe that the 1849 mm-hmm. uh, state, uh, state law that's on the books that basically would ban nearly all abortions unless a mother's life is at risk. He doesn't believe that's actually going to hold up. We also heard from Attorney General Josh Call last week saying that he thinks the law is basically archaic and it won't hold up either. So that remains to be seen. But, you know, Ron Johnson, of course, got some flack because it says, hey, if you don't like the laws that it's going to be on the books, if Roe v. Wade is eventually overturned, you can go to another state. Now, we know Illinois right now is kind of this island um, because they passed their own uh, Mm -hmm. making abortion rights. You know, you could still get an abortion in Illinois. Um, Their clinics are already seeing a funnel of people go there. So I, I think People are still going to continue just keep talking about this, mm-hmm. and we're hearing just more um, from people across the board. Even Speaker Voss also kind of talked right. about this this week. So let's peel the onion a little bit. Yeah. So first, realistically, the GOP majorities that you see in both houses of legislature are not going to change that state law. Now, Robin Voss told the General Sentinel he favors adding exceptions for rape and incest, which, quite frankly, are very popular. Um, the four Republicans running for governor don't want to do that. Unless Governor Evers is reelected, right, like how do you get any changes to that law, period? Look at the caucuses, well, GOP caucuses in both houses. You don't have the support in those caucuses to alter the law to add more exceptions. They're very strongly anti abortion. So, unless you're going to put a bill on the floor in which you would get Democratic support to pass the bill, it's not going to happen. There's a rule of thumb in the state Senate. That it's not always hard and fast, but you don't put a bill on the floor unless you have 17 GOP votes for mm-hmm. it. I would bet you money there are not 17 GOP votes to add more exceptions to the law because, again, the anti-abortion positions of that. those caucuses. You're more likely to see, if there's a Republican governor, talk about the morning after pill, um, chemical abortions, limiting access to those things, than you are a loosening that 1849 law. Rewind. Your Week in Review is sponsored by... The Wisconsin Realtors Association, bringing Wisconsin communities to life with great homes, businesses, and neighborhoods. The Wisconsin Realtors Association, the voice of real estate. 